Smart. Let's hear from Billy Drummond from the uh, community organisation Shankill Alternatives. Good evening to you. Good evening. Now, I gather you've had some success in the Shankill area uh, around helping a safe use of bonfires around this time of year. What have you been doing? Well, Seamus, we certainly wouldn't claim to, to be responsible for all that on our own. Um, as an organisation, we started to engage bonfires simply because as a youth organisation, there were so many young people drawn to the bonfires that we had to go to them to try and engage them. Um, and what we've tried to do is, rather than um, tell people what they can and cannot do, we've tried to work with the, the bonfire organisers. Some of these organisers um, are involved in the bonfire schemes themselves through the council, others are not. But we have to say that in trying to work with them and most people want the 11th May to be enjoyable for everyone. A lot of effort and time is put in by the organisers. So what so sort of practical things do you do with these young people? To try to teach well, if you can well, get across well, the idea of being responsible about bonfires. Well, for example, we would li liaise quite closely and very closely with the Northern Ireland Fire and Rescue Service. Um, and we would make sure that the local bonfire organisers are aware of who they are. Um, we would also try and look at safety aspects around the bonfire. And we have seen a, a very good responsible attitude by bonfire organisers themselves in local communities. For example, some of the evenings are paying out of their own pocket for machinery to try and scrape the sites to, to make sure that the sites are safe and free from, from, from debris. And does it work um, in the Shankill? Well, I mean, we're not saying that we're experts. And certainly what we're saying is what we've seen is a dramatic increase in terms of attitudes not just to those who are part of the schemes, but those who generally want the 11th day to go successful. We want it to be enjoyable. It's certainly something that the, the, the community should be proud of and continue to do. But if, we also, we yeah. also recognise that people need to work with local residents and they have some responsibility so everyone can enjoy themselves. But that's what I was going to ask you about. I mean, even if you have the best agreement possible about what's acceptable and what's not and if you have an agreement about who's accountable if the rules are broken all it takes is a couple of people to say we want we're not having that and uh you know don't 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 answer back or you're for it in other words there's intimidation goes on isn't that the case well i don't know about that Seamus, but i'm not i'm not specifying your area think, i'm just saying I, what can I happen i don't know whether that goes in any areas i think one of the one of the dilemmas that we see and one of, one of the unfortunate things is there's certainly an agenda to demonize all bonfire culture and I think that's a big mistake and I think that's maybe why you're having some of the difficulties uh, in terms of people being inflexible because they feel yeah. that, they're, that, that everyone's being targeted at one point that there is an agenda to demonize a very positive aspect of unionist know, culture that, that thousands and thousands of people enjoy on a yearly basis um, so I think if people sort of try to work more closely um, with those people in a reasonable way, and I think it's about local local accommodation, I think it's about local engagement. And that obviously and works where, where you are, at least you have tried to make it work. What would you say well, to it's those... Well, in, in numerous and yeah. in East Belfast. Yeah, but what would you say to those, Billy, in the loyalist community who would say to you, and there might be some of them who would say, look, it's gone too far, and if culture is about burning piles of wood, well, we really need to think again. Well, I would say, you know, people are entitled to express their culture in, in, a, in a reasonable manner. And as I go back to say, Seamus, I think that people would be more open if they're not told and enforced. And in fact, it's not about enforcement, it's about demonization. So our experience has been when you work with people, when you try and engage them, actually they're more willing to actually improve it themselves. Because the bottom line is, the people want to enjoy themselves in the local area and they want to celebrate their culture. But again, as I say, there is an, there is an agenda, no doubt there's an agenda there to demonize every aspect of it and that's getting the reaction, unfortunately, that we see where people are digging, digging their heels in. And I, I, I do believe that there needs to be a responsibility on the media to actually go out and look at the positive aspects. This gives a sense of community. It gives the young people a sense of enjoyment it gives the community a sense of, of belonging. And unfortunately, there is a sense of rivalry that these kids now want to have the biggest and they Indeed. can see the variety that comes with it. Now, that presents some problems, but it's about managing that in a fair way that doesn't demonize these groups of young people because they don't deserve that. Billy Drummond from Shankill Alternatives, thank you very much. 29 minutes to six.
Thanks, Mark. Let's hear from Billy Drummond from the uh, community organisation Shankill Alternatives. Good evening to you. Good evening. Now, I gather you've had some success in the Shankill area uh, around helping a safe use of bonfires around this time of year. What have you been doing? Well, Seamus, we certainly wouldn't claim to, to be responsible for all that on our own. Um, as an organisation, we started to engage bonfires simply because, as a youth organisation, there were so many young people drawn to the bonfires that we had to go to them to try and engage them. Um, and what we've tried to do is, rather than um, tell people what they can and cannot do, we've tried to work with the, the bonfire organisers. Some of these organisers... Um, are involved in the bonfire schemes themselves through the council, others are not, but we have to say that in trying to work with them and most people want the 11th.